Well, Jeff, this is a, a beautiful ride, and it stands out because it stands up. Yes, <laughs> easy to find. It is easy to find. It is it is one tall ride. This is a, a 59 uh, Apache fleet side, right? Correct. But what makes it stand so tall is it's got the Napco conversion. Correct. Which were kind of aftermarket things. You, you would send your vehicle to them, they'd put the four-wheel drive system under it, and you'd get it back and you had this, you know, stump jumper. Yep. But you're telling me this actually came from the factory with the Napco? Correct. A number of them they made in the factory. I think they were done as a dealer display. That's what I was told. Oh, but I so I hear any numbers in between 300 and 1,000 were done in the factory. Um, and the way you can tell is the cross members and stuff are riveted to the frame versus bolted at the dealerships or at the, the Napco conversion plant. And it also increased the weight capacity of the vehicle. So what, what is the gross capacity on this? So this is 5,600. And a typical half ton would only be 5,000. Oh, okay. Wow, man. I mean, it's just beautiful. I love the color combo. You know, this turquoise and white. What are the? What are they? They're it's tartan turquoise, tartan turquoise and Bombay ivory. Oh yeah, man. And was that the original color scheme, the split? Yes. It, well, it was a visual color scheme. You could get this way. Yes, definitely. Now, how long have you had this? I have it for seven years. And uh, was it in this shape when you bought it? No. Not no. even close. Not even close. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Did a little work on it, right? Yeah, a little bit of work. Yep. Now I was talking actually to your former teacher. You yes. were a Votech student. Correct. And uh, he said, oh yeah, you got to meet this guy. Uh, I said, well, did he build this? He said, well, he did all the mechanical. And then your teacher is the guy that actually shot it, he right? He did, yes. Yeah. And and he was a building trace teacher. He's not even a, not even a oh, really? auto body. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So I'm an electrician. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So now I'm it totally pays. confused. Yes, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> wow. So, I mean, you really did this thing totally. I mean, you chromed it and everything. Yes. Right? Everything, everything went to Labrady's to get chrome put on it. All these are original parts. You know, I had everything. I took everything off and had it all chrome. Re uh, that ain't cheap. No, it's not. No, no. no. But, but I wanted to do it right. When Man. I found out that it was a factory Napco, I wanted to make it as original as I can, minus the stainless hardware. Like, right. You know, the nuts and bolts of it. Right, right, right. Yeah. Where'd you find it? Uh, it was actually in California. I, I bought it on eBay. Yeah. From California? From, from are, Cal are you from up here, upstate New York? Or? I, I'm from Pennsylvania. So, Cal California to Pennsylvania? Correct. Wow. Well, being a Western truck, was it uh, pretty solid? It, it, most of it was solid. The re main reason why I bought it was because it was complete and the frame was in good shape. Uh -huh. There was a lot of body pounds that were cut out and we had to do a lot of cutting and welding and I learned how to weld a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and for an electrician to weld, that's Yeah, yeah not bad good. for electrician. That's what I always say, it's not bad for an electrician. <laughs> <laughs> it, but it's, it's great and she is tall, man. It's, yes. You, you almost have to have a step stool to get up in it. Yes. And, but you really did do everything right. It, it, that looks like original fabric. I, I tried, it is. It is the original combination that would have come with a vehicle in a deluxe interior. And we had painted the interior of the cab a year before we had the fabric. And when the fabric came, it matched perfectly. Oh. So we knew we had the, and that's called Comanche gold. That's really? an original color, yep. And, and it, I mean, that's the same uh, instrument cluster as in a 58, yep. right? Yeah, and, that, and that's the original instrument cluster. Oh, yep. no kidding, did you yep. have it redone? No, yep, I had it over at, at, a, at a shop and they fixed the odometer and they made it, but it did work when I got it, so. But they re-lettered it and everything. Yeah, they, yeah, they did, yep, did a great job. And there's the Napco, uh, but, you know, tell you where you are. Yep. And your gear selector. Correct. Man, it's just, I mean, it's, it's this thing is like a showroom truck. I bought the uh, factory assembly manual and it was my Bible for, for three years. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted every nut and bolt exactly the way it was well, supposed to be. It looks to me like you got them that way. And, and you obviously did the, the bed. Correct. And they did come in uh, southern yellow pine. Well, I was going to say, that's pine, isn't and it? And it is. And that's what they came with, the southern yellow pine. And that's what I did. Well, now, did you make that? Or is that, is that like a kit? It's like a kit. A, it's a, a kit. Wood or something. Yep. Yeah. 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 Marque, I think it is. Marque, uh-huh. Yeah. The groove that's in there that, that accepts this metal is actually like a three-step thing, so it would be hard to create. Oh, yeah. Even though he, he also made my kitchen cabinets, so he could... <laughs> <laughs> we, we could have done you it, but we just chose not to. <laughs> right, right. Well, how about all this side trim? That's stainless, isn't it's it? It's all stainless, yep. It, and, and that was all in good enough shape to just buff out? Uh, no, I, ha I had to get the stainless. That Did I had you? to buy. Yeah. But that is NOS. I found it. Are you kidding? Uh, a guy, a friend of mine found it online, and I bought it instantly. It's the most expensive thing well, on the truck. I was going to say, that ain't cheap either. No, no, that was the, it's the most expensive thing on the truck, wow. for sure. Yep. Well, it looks fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Yep. It really is like a showroom display vehicle. Which I tried to make it as exact as it could be. Oh, my goodness. Look, uh, let's go up and look at the engine. Great. Okay. That, no, that's a classic, isn't it? <laughs> uh, 235. Correct. 235.6. 
It's got the single barrel, right? Correct. What What's this this thing over here? That, that would be for vacuum. In, in these years, you could have vacuum or electric wipers, and that would be the vacuum port. Oh, so it's capped off and it's you've got electric? Off, right. This was the optional... Yes, oil filter. They yeah. didn't come with they, they one. They didn't come with one, no, and it's a bypass filter, so not even all the oil goes through it, only about 10%. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I didn't know. yeah. <laughs> You see how thin those lines are. You know, oh, not a lot man. would go through there. Man. But well, at least you know they didn't put a lot of miles on these. No, no, but, no. This uh, would this actually lived on an Air Force base. Oh, really? For most of its life. Yep. Oil baths. Oil bill fill. Yep. Wow. This is the whole conversion. What, we're all, what all went into this? Or uh, the Nap the Napco. You know, it, it's really very simple. It's a divorce transfer case, and you know, just a Napco differential in the front. It's. It's very similar to modern. They pioneered it, and they and it wasn't available in just you could get it in any vehicle in a Ford, Chevy, Dodge. Napco put them in anything you yeah, wanted to put yeah. them in. Yeah, and and that would have been the original block color. This dark yeah, gray. Yeah, it's gray. Yep. It's, I found that actually on the back side of the bell housing. Oh. It was it was still on there, so we got it matched, and it and it and it's perfect. Unbelievable, man! Oh man! And and now you're in Pennsylvania. We're up in upstate New York, and yeah. I, you you wouldn't have driven this not only because it's so nice but it probably tops out at about 45 or yeah 50 45 miles. 50 miles an hour you're really kind of screaming along yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this has uh, the transmission and it had the lowest first gear ever put in a factory vehicle the wall climber yeah, yeah. well they you're hard to come by because uh jeep guys stole them for rock climbing uh, for rock crawling yeah it, so, yeah. it really is wall yeah, climbing. Yeah, yeah yeah exactly man i'm telling you Jeff, she's just beautiful seal it back up because it it is just a stunning vehicle Thank you. Wow, have you so have you had it at this show before? Uh, last year, one time, yep. And was is it a hit wherever it goes? It is, it is, because it's so tall, it stands out, the colors are right, it's just really the, and nobody has one. You see oh. two wheel drive ones, but you don't oh, see yeah. the four wheel drive. Well, it was, and it really was because it was sticking up so high that I went, what's that over there? Let's go, <laughs> let's go look at that. <laughs> it's not hard to find when you're in the lot. You're like, oh, there's my truck. <laughs> the hood's taller than anything. <laughs> Man, so 59 Chevy Apache. Napco conversion, no, Napco from the factory four-wheel. Wow, what a truck. Jeff, thanks for bringing this baby out. Thank you, sir. That is awesome.